Okay, I'm outside of this place on holiday. Um, to show you the neighborhood. Uh, a lot of these houses are brick. Um, I'm looking east towards the school. I mean, it's 150 yards from where I'm standing right now. So it's really close. There's a school and a park right there, which is nice. Um, most of the houses here in this neighborhood are, are kind of mid-century um, brick accents or full brick. Um, most of them are pretty well kept. There's varying degrees of that, but uh, but anyhow, it, it's, a, it's a nice, quiet neighborhood. Um, but of course, this is the, the house in question. And it definitely, uh, you, you saw, it definitely has some mid-century stuff going on. There's some other things that, that need to be taken care of. Um, it said in the notes that they were expecting to sell as is, um, but not much different than, than the other deals that we did. Um, the lawn looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's been, I mean, just like where you guys are, it's been crazy hot the last week, and it's supposed to get hotter. So the, the yard could use a little water, but it's generally in pretty good shape. Um, landscaping is simple, but it's fine. Um, you can see there's no egress windows in the basement, so we'll look at that when we get up there, but uh, kind of like 10 by 2 inch bricks, so kind of like long narrow ones. Um, just a little shot of the foundation. There's a little bit of spalling on there. I'm not, I'm not an engineer or anything, but it looks like it's fine to me. Uh, okay, heading into the house. So it's funny, I walked through another house that was an, the identical layout about two blocks away for another client uh, a couple weeks ago. So there's probably a few houses that were built by the same person at the same time that are the same. So you walk in, uh, you've got a fireplace. It looks like they've got a gas insert in there. Um, carpet, this room is about 12 by 15. Um, and then just so that you can see, there's like this kind of subway style tile in the entryway. It's got kind of like a half moon shape there. Um, this is your dining area straight ahead. And so when I come up here, uh, dining area is carpeted. Obviously, the kitchen is just to the left. There's a coat closet here. Um, well, for reference, the living room is right there. Uh, and then if I turn to my right, you've got um, a couple bedrooms and a bathroom up here. So just a little linen cabinet at the top of the, or at the beginning here. And then the full bathroom upstairs carpet uh you've got an original vanity here uh it's probably a 36 inch vanity wallpaper everywhere um tile surround but it, it's only about five feet tall uh, and you've got your window obviously in the shower that lighting let me see if there that's a, a little bit better the, it's the colors are way off but it, this is all like a bone shade so it's not quite white but it's not brown or tan um, original bathtub and that's a newer window so um, yeah and just so you can get a good feel for that wallpaper um, the vanity has an original laminated top it's an original sink it has been here for a while but it's in good shape it's well cared for for sure it's just been there for a while um, so at the end of the hall on the left is just a basic small bedroom Carpet, uh, it's not in terrible shape. It, there's been furniture sitting in these spots for probably for decades. And so uh, there's, it's matted down and slightly discolored. Um, but this room is relatively small. I would say it's nine feet wide by about 12 feet. Got a standard closet over there in the corner. Uh, newer vinyl windows all around, which is nice. Uh, and then this across the hall would be uh, your master bedroom big for a house this age. I'm almost wondering if they maybe took another bedroom, took a wall out and added a bedroom in here. Um, this room is about, I'm just trying to figure it out, probably 18 feet long by 12 feet wide on that direction. So from this wall over here, there, to this wall over here, about 18 feet. So it's, it's a wide room and there's three separate closets. So there's one over there. There's another one here behind the door. Let me pull that back just so you can see the door. Another little closet there. And then there's another closet here on the left. So this layout leads me to believe this may have been two bedrooms at one point. Um, okay, heading back over to the kitchen. A dining room, nothing too special. You've got a little chair rail there uh, and then some more wallpaper got uh, your window. The dining room area is about 10 by 12 feet. 
and then you've got your kitchen. Um, these have to be original built-in place cabinets. Uh, again, they're in good shape. They're just older. Countertop is a laminated countertop trimmed out with oak. And then at some point, somebody put in this little backsplash here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the cabinets are, somebody spent some time putting those together. They look nice. Um, kitchen small, of course. It's about probably 10 by 10, something like that. Uh, your refrigerator would go here. There's no fridge at the moment. But um, if I turn left at the other end of the kitchen here, I'm at the top of the stairs. If I turn right, I'm going into the garage. If I turn left, I'm going down to the basement. So I'm going to start going down to the basement. You've got, uh, this is the same kind of carpet that was in that far bedroom. Um, and then there's, at the bottom of the stairs, you've got some green carpet. It's like got a texture to it. It's been there for a while. Um, but if I turn left at the basement, bottom of the stairs, you've got your utility room. So your water heater is here. Um, I looked and didn't see an install date, but this thing, it's not been here very long. It's an electric water heater. It's maybe a couple years old would be my guess. Um, got your service panel over here. Um, fuses. So this is older electrical. You can see it's got braided, um, old braided Romex wiring, which is acceptable. It's usually, I shouldn't say usually, sometimes grounded. Um, but this is definitely an original panel. So it's been there for a while. Um, and then, oh, I guess I missed that. Your laundry would be right here. So you've got all your laundry hookups right there. Um, there is a vent for a dryer right up by the window. So um, utility room is about 15 by 10 probably. Um, directly across the hall, just for reference, stairs to my right, and then directly across the hall here is that uh, family room with the brick fireplace. This room is about 12 by 18 probably. Your water main is right here in the wall. And there's like a, there's some cabinets over here. There's no plumbing or anything. I, I was thinking it might be a wet bar, but there's just cabinets. Um, and then just a little storage closet here. So th this room could be really cool. It just, it would be nice to have an egress window, a little more natural light and update it a little bit. This, it's got carpet in here. Kind of looks green on my screen, but it's like a gray commercial carpet. Um, it's very, there's no padding and it's uh, very low, low pile. So for, further down the hall, there is a three, well, no, this is a full bath. Another full bath here. Um, so you've got a double, let's see if I can get it here. Double vanity as you walk in. The, the door's kind of funky. I have to walk around the door to get to the vanity. But you've got a double vanity there that's original. It's five feet. Uh, a blue toilet, as you saw in the pictures. And there's a little space there. And then you've got a full shower here. Um, matching bathtub. And then this is manufactured marble. The ceramic is manufactured marble. You know, I'll, so you can see kind of the texture of that and the color. Um, there's, you can't really see, at least on my display, there's some blue flecks in there and it kind of picks up on the blue. Um, so the, the layout of this bathroom was a little funky, but uh, definitely got some personality. Um, this closet across the way, it, it, let me see if I can get this light on. It works. You got your furnace in here. So it's a gas furnace. Um, the date, install date is, I can't read it on there, um, but it's fairly modern. Uh, maybe maybe five to 10 years old, I would guess. Um, oh, here we go. It says purchased in 2011. So it's 10 years old. 10 year old gas furnace. Um, all right. Then the lights at the end of the hall here don't work, but you've got another bedroom basically, but this one, there's a little closet back here. This, so this room is kind of L-shaped, um, but it's about 12 by 12, uh, no egress windows. Ceiling in this room, is a, it's about seven feet tall. So plenty of clearance there. Um, and then there's another room across the hall. And this one, uh, it's about the same size. There's a little nook over here little storage nook, um, and then of course another closet. Uh, there is the, the ceilings for down there for a duct. And so that it's about, gosh, six foot, it's about six foot two where that duct is and the rest of the, ba the best of that room is seven feet. Other than that, the rest of the basement is basically seven foot ceiling. So there's plenty of space. There's just not really much light. 
um, the uh, egress windows I think would help tremendously. So anyhow, heading out to the garage. Standard two car garage. Um, you've got a, a garage door opener. This is the back end of the, the uh, fireplace. Um, tall ceilings here there, and, and there's, it's extra deep. So there's storage and room to work in here. Uh, you could get a car in here and still have 10 feet of working space in the back. So there's, it's a good size garage for a single car garage for sure. Uh, and then this is the only access to the backyard. It's got a covered patio. I um, mean, you see the concrete's got a little bit of cracking in it, but this patio is probably 18 by 12 feet, I would say, and it's covered. And then you've just got a big backyard with not a heck of a lot else going on. There's lots of space back here. Um, it looks to me like there's probably flood irrigation here. There's a little ditch in a control box in this corner. You can see that um, water most likely enters through here. And I'm guessing it just kind of floods the backyard. Um, it looks like they originally had a vegetable garden towards the back here. There's a little concrete separation, um, but it, it hasn't been maintained. So these are just weeds, but um, there's a couple fruit trees. I don't know. That looks like maybe it's an apple and this might be a cherry over here, but uh, it's not terribly private. It's, I mean, as, as the era might, lead you to believe uh, all these yards have just chain link fences and so um, you can see right through the next couple yards but it's it's wide open and there's lots of space back here um, the yard next door has not been loved for a while just so you can see on this side anyway so back there they haven't been watering and it looks like they're mowing the weeds down but it's it's not been maintained um, the yard both yards on this side have been really well maintained. The, these people actually have a really cool pergola set up here with some really cool mid-century furniture. So neighbors are taking good care of the place on that end and um, yeah. Oh, while I'm out here, uh, air conditioner looks like it was replaced at the same time as the furnace, so it's probably 10 years old. Uh, it's the same brand. And then the roof is just a three tab. My guess is that this roof is probably 20-ish years old. I don't see any obvious damage, but it's it's been up there for a while. I mean, I would guess that it probably needs a little bit of attention and probably has a few years of life left, but not a ton. So anyhow, there's the house on holiday.